In today's video, we're building my son's eight card GPU mining rig. Say hi. Hi. I'm excited to be partnering with BT Miners to help them launch their brand new app on the Apple and Android store. This is pretty sweet, guys. It goes ahead and does miner rankings, earning calculators, pool rankings, mining data, having countdowns, and finally, miner rentals. And you can buy hardware right from the app at BT Miners. Go over and check it out. I'll put links directly down below. What's going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in today's video, I'm helping my son build his eight card GPU mining rig. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so I'm here with my son, say hi. Hi. And how old are you? 10. All right, and he's 10 and we're getting into one of his next upgrade for a graphics card mining rig. He had a smaller open frame one. It's actually sitting down here underneath the table and we're upgrading him to this server case. This is a Polo Miner server case. I don't even know that these guys are in business anymore. Comes with a plain Jane riserless motherboard and a 2400 watt power supply. So we're also gonna be installing these eight graphics cards. So what brand are our graphics cards? MSI 1660 Ti. Very good, good job. See, so we have eight of these MSI and these are the Twin Forza 7 1660 Ti's. Uh, these here I've had for quite some time. When I was going through all my graphics cards, I decided, eh, let's not go ahead and get rid of these and let's put these to good work. So we're going to be setting these up today on NiceHash, uh, which will be going ahead and earning us some Bitcoin. And you've been interested in Bitcoin recently and how much Bitcoin do you have right now? Uh, about $36. $36, that's right. So that is from his other rig. So we're gonna be taking these and putting these to work. I cover the electric cost and then he gets to go ahead and benefit from stacking some Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and get started today. We're gonna to be installing the hard drive first. So let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna be installing this guy and this is an MSATA hard drive. And how this works is it's actually gonna go right here in the motherboard, we'll install it in just a minute, and it's gonna plug directly into this slot. And what we've already done before the actual video was install NiceHash's OS. If you guys aren't familiar, NiceHash's OS will do uh, profit switching as well as uh, automate the overclocking process to whatever algorithm is the most profitable and then it pays you out in Bitcoin. And we actually needed to use this guy over here, which is a USB adapter for MSATA. So we could plug it right into our computer. It looks just like a USB drive and then we can go ahead and flash it with Bellina Etcher. If you guys are looking for a full video on this, I'll put a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the NiceHash OS. All right, let's get our hard drive installed. All right, so we're gonna install our MSATA hard drive right in there, good job, first try. And now we're gonna go ahead and put that miniature screw right in. Good job, yep, there you go. Perfect, and it'll tighten. Man, look at you, you're a GPU miner already. All right, next up is we're gonna install our eight 1660 Ti's. All right, let's get started. All right, we got our eight cards slotted. Was that a little difficult? Kind of. Yeah, it's even hard for me sometimes, <laughs> I get it. All right, so next guys is we have our PCI cables in here. And what's gonna happen is these actually come with this motherboard. The cables come right off of the motherboard itself. The power supply over here comes off and it feeds the actual motherboard with power. And then right next to each of the cards is the actual PCI cables. So let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna get these plugged in. It uses one eight pin per GPU. Thank you. 
PCI cables are done. We did an eight pin for each one. And how did that go? It was pretty easy. Which one was harder? Installing the graphics cards or the cables? Definitely installing the graphics cards. Yeah, definitely. Yep. All right, so what's next? You got to screw in the graphic cards. In All right, let's do it. All right, screws are done and good to go. We only did one set of screws per graphics card here, and we didn't put in the support brace yet because we do need to go ahead and get this plugged in first and make sure everything works before we button it up. We'll also do some zip ties on some of these tails to keep it nice and clean, but let's go ahead and get this plugged in. All right, we have our rig here just in our storage room, and we're gonna go ahead and get it plugged in. So if you wanna grab one of the yellow cables, it's a C13 to C14. And there you go. And that's going to go right in the back here. So let me scoop that up. All right. It goes right in the top corner. Bless you. Right here. It only goes one way. So take your time. You got it. All right. Perfect. Now there's a switch right underneath of it. Go ahead and flick the switch. Oh, check those cards out. All right. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to back up here. It's right. working. Is it working? How do those cards look? Awesome. Yeah. So these, once again, these are the MSI 1660 TIs. They have RGBs on top and on the sides. Turned out pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and wait for this to come up. All right, so it's been over an hour. What happened? So... That thing in there kept beeping. Uh-huh. We went through three different cases. Yep. And they were all polo miners. Yep. So we needed a different case. Yep. Um, and then we... And, uh, and are we running now? Yes, we're running very good. All right, so let's explain what happened. So you close the door a little bit. So we started out with the one polo miner case, uh, this one here. And unfortunately, there's an issue. We found out that the NiceHash OS that we were putting on our MSATAs uh, does not work with not only the first Polo Miner version, but also this is version two of the Polo Miner. It doesn't work on there as well. So we had to go through these multiples. We tried multiple different MSATA drives. What it was doing is it would boot a tiny, like it wouldn't fully boot, but you turn it on and it would beep. The whole rig would beep over and over and over again. So something with the compatibility between nice hash os and these motherboards they're both the same motherboards on each of these so what we ended up doing is i went and got one of the vet v tret 2 cases you know show them all right so this is a v tret 2 case and it worked great what do you think are you happy now yes i'm happy <laughs> we uninstalled and installed these cards multiple times um, so let's go ahead and go over here. You want to show them on nice hash it took a very boring one hour yep all right you want to show on the computer so what, what is the name of our mining rig here? Arceus, the Pokemon. No, it's based off of the Pokemon there. Yes, so it's only been up and running for five minutes. Uh, right now it's going through and benchmarking all of the cards. In order to uh, benefit from the auto profit switching and overclocking, you actually come into each of the GPUs and then you actually select what miners. They have four miners that'll work with it. MB miner, LOL miner, G miner, and excavator if you were using the CPU. And you actually will click the drop down and we enabled all of these. So these are all the different algorithms that it supports and it'll allow it to go through. But it's gonna go through now over the next, probably take about three hours and it's gonna benchmark these. Some of these is gonna get an error. So it's gonna restart 
the miner for that uh, until it finds kind of the perfect combination for everything. Uh, and then we'll be on the other side and then we'll know exactly how much it's predicting that we'll make. All right, so guys, I think for today we are done. What do you think? Awesome. Are you ready to earn some Bitcoin? Yes, I need money. All right, I like it. And what should we tell people? To give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.